Well, ahoy. Hello. Uh, it's been a few days. We went to a Brazilian steakhouse in Albuquerque. That was pretty awesome. And then we also went, for our first time, did an escape room. And that was pretty cool. We're definitely going to be going back to that one. It was based off Friday the 13th. Yep. So it was uh, a little spooky, a little fun, uh, for sure. So, But today, we are somewhere new. We're traveling into the mountains. So we have found ourselves at a harvest host and it's actually a vineyard and cidery called Black Mesa Winery and Cidery that we have driven by many times. We've always wanted to stop. It's beautiful and we finally have stopped. They are a member of harvest host. So we're staying here for the evening and we also discovered some really cool things on the property that we're gonna check out. So we'll take you guys along for that. Well, it's safe to say we found the labyrinth. And <laughs> Brittany's going around it. And from the labyrinth, we can see Wilson. There he is. <laughs> I'm gonna let Brittany go around the labyrinth. I'm gonna conserve my energy to go see the petroglyphs. Let her waste some energy in this uh, late afternoon sun. A beautiful location here. We are in where Velarde, Brett? Velarde. So just outside of Espanola on the way to Taos. This winery is beautifully set up and they really uh, do a really good job for harvest hosts. So thumbs up to you guys here at Black Mesa uh, Winery and Cidery. You're doing a great job. We really, really love what you're doing here, but. Let's uh, have Brittany finish this labyrinth, and let's go check out these petroglyphs. Brittany is on the hope stretch of the labyrinth. Coming around. Get the plants in the way. <laughs> Avoid the cacti. And she has made it to the end. Woo. <laughs> Finished our petroglyph trail walk and Brittany's labyrinth, uh, I don't even know, adventure, I guess we call it. And now it's uh, time to just go relax. Probably get Starlink put up, no service here. Maybe, uh, I don't know, watch some YouTube or a movie. And then we gotta cook dinner a little later. We had a late lunch though. So, we'll probably cook late, or we just may make subs. We'll keep you posted. Well, we figured we would show you Chef Brittany at work. <laughs> I didn't say I was making your sandwich. What? <laughs> We're making subs. So, we got everything. Picked up some sub rolls, turkey, we got some turkey, pepperoni. Ignore the marshmallows, <laughs> those are not going on a sandwich. Or the honey bun. Or, or the, the cinnamon rolls. Wow. <laughs> Clearly we know what Neil eats. Yep. Lettuce. Oh, this is the best part though. Yeah, I was going to say, you yeah. that. The deli dressing. If you haven't done this on your sandwich, you're missing out. And then also the chipotle. Oh yes. Or Neil likes this. Uh -huh. It's a little too hot for my taste. Jamal. Look at that bad boy. Chipotle but it's really good. Gourmets. 
Chipotle, Chipotle, yeah, I think that's how you say it. But that's what we're making for dinner. We'll show you the final product. It'll magically be this. And there they are. We, we sort of learned that we have some different techniques when we make sandwiches. So, sandwiches, little subs, and some dill pickle chips, and some sun chips. And all those snacks over there, yes, they are mine. I'm like a little kid at heart. Mm -hmm. And those were new yesterday, the, the cinnamon rolls, and I already ate half of them. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Because we buy you brownies about five times a week. Yep. Well, we're going to enjoy these and uh, get the projector down. Time for subs, dinner. And Queen Charlotte. And Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. Brittany watched the series, I did not, but this Queen Charlotte one is actually pretty good. So we're gonna munch down on these and uh, just probably put in a few episodes of that mm -hmm. and call it an evening. We will uh, catch you guys in the morning. Hello. Good morning. We are now leaving the Black Mesa Winery and Cidery, and we are about 30 minutes from Taos. It's been a little bit since we've been there, so we're going to head there, and uh, you guys come along with us on this beautiful drive up to Taos. it to Taos and of course you know us we had to get some coffee so of course you know anywhere we go pretty much if it's the morning time we have to stop and get coffee so Taos Java it is or was is kind of because we're still drinking it but uh, interesting story to go along with this so this was actually a coffee shop that I frequented in the height of COVID because um, you could still go through their drive-thru I was on a travel nurse contract here for three months starting November 2020 so I was up here and Neil was down at our then Rio Rancho house so we actually just discovered that because of COVID this place shut down and then a really awesome couple who we just met, Clark and Tanya, they actually retired. Uh, they lived in California and they came out here and they ended up purchasing and reopening the shop because they also were frequenting this through the drive-thru during COVID and uh, they just fell in love with it. Um, so when it closed, they knew that the community wanted it here. They, what they call it in the article, the news article, a warm embrace, like a warm hug, warm hug is what it feels in like there. inside, and it definitely does, and I probably should go back inside and record, and they'd probably love it, because they were a really funny couple, <laughs> but, uh, you know, we're just finished up some some food and we're drinking our coffee and we want to hit the road they also knew absolutely nothing about coffee when they bought the shop which I just love that <laughs> yep so they actually were in there practicing one day uh, because the previous owner's sister who worked there uh, the previous owner did pass away in 2017 and then new owners took it over but the sisters still work for the new owners running it she actually was showing them how to make the coffee so they were practicing one day and a bunch of people thought that the shop the coffee shop opened back up so they came in so they ended up giving free coffee to everybody as they practiced so it was a really good way to kind of just get thrown into the mix making great coffee so really what we're trying to say is this is an awesome coffee shop uh, one of the best atmospheres we've been in in a coffee shop and the coffee is great so that's that's a plus and the burritos are phenomenal so if you come get a breakfast burrito but be warned they have green chili in them which has a little kick to it we love our green chili but then they also give you salsa i ate mine with it Brittany did not i did it, not touch it <laughs> it's a very good thing she did it because the red salsa is spicy to say the least but delicious so 
come get some coffee, some burritos if you're ever up and visiting Taos, New Mexico at Taos Java. And really, if you haven't visited New, uh, Taos, New Mexico in general, you need to make it up here. The Earthships, the Rio Grande Gorge, uh, the amazing food, culture, art, the uh, Center Plaza is a must see, must visit, but make sure you stop at Taos Java for sure. And no, we're not being paid to promote <laughs> Taos Java. It's just, we, you guys know us, if you follow our channel, we like to share really good coffee spots as we travel the country. Local spots. Uh, yeah, you know, no chain, just local stuff. Um, and this is one of them. But let's get back on the road to Alamosa, Colorado. That is our final destination for the day. Colorado. We are in Alamosa and we are hunkered down here at a Walmart because we have some pretty crazy winds up to 55 miles per hour and we just heard that Denver is actually going to be getting hit with some hail and possible tornadoes up there. So pretty crazy weather. It's actually shaking the whole rig. So we're going to meet up with our friend Justin here at the Walmart. Probably stay here this evening just because the weather is so horrible. And then uh, in the next video We'll be exploring the area and going to some cool spots that we found. So uh, you're going to have to stay tuned for that. So we hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to give us a big thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Let us know if you've been to Alamosa, Colorado. Let us know your thoughts. And as always, please consider subscribing to our channel. We would love to have you along to see what, where our adventures lead. So we'll see you in the next video. See you next time. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't.